Hey guys, what's going on? Kirby here. Uh, today, I have this uh, box carrier thing. You usually see these in like warehouses. You uh, haul stuff around with them. Uh, my friend had one in his scrap pile in his backyard, so I asked if I could have it, and he said, sure, just take it. So uh, I'm going to be turning this into a trailer to haul stuff around in my bike, like the plasma car for those types of videos, because uh, usually when I do my plasma car videos, I end up just walking all around town for like an hour filming and editing. So uh, I think this will make it a lot easier. I can just ride around and, until I find a hill. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab this old uh, longboard. I've had this thing forever. Uh, what I'm going to do is put it down in here like that. Obviously, when I uh, drill it in place, it's going to be in a straight line. Like It's actually going to be, you know, in the right position. It's going to be able to hold. First, I got to take the trucks off of this. And I'm going to try to film that the best I can. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to set this here. Uh, here's a screwdriver, Phillips head. It's the right kind. Uh, yep, that's a Phillips head. I don't know if that's gonna fit down in there right. Looks like it will. Uh, adjustable wrench, that'll be good. Hold these things on the bottom in place. You can see right here, when I need to hold these, you can see they're already insanely loose. Like, I can do that by hand at this point. So, uh, might as well do that. Yeah, I might have to do this one off camera, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to film this right. It's gonna be pretty hard. Okay, so even though I was unable to film it, I did get one of the trucks off. Uh, just decided to use a drill because it's a lot faster than the screwdriver. I just gotta do this one, and I can uh, put this down on there and start screwing it in. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that uh, the one drill bit on there, and I'm just gonna drill down through here first. All right, guys, uh, you can see, I got both the trucks off sitting right there. Uh, I'm gonna align this pretty good and hopefully start drilling through there. I gotta switch out the drill bit real quick, so let's do that. Gotta find one that'll fit good. Um, I'm gonna see if this one will do the job. No, I gotta go a little bit bigger. So here's a good one. That'll probably work. Let me compare the sizes real quick. Yeah, it's like perfect. Just a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So, I gotta get this aligned good first. And... Alright. I probably made the... Uh, Quite the dent. No, it didn't. Okay, never mind. Here, let me go through this first. All right, uh, we're doing okay. I'm gonna cut to when I get all four holes drilled because this is just gonna take forever. So, uh, what I've done so far, I drilled the two holes there. And they went through the metal. I put that thing down in there and screwed the bolts on so it wouldn't come off. I did that for both sides on here. And I drilled the holes there also through the metal. And I'm going to go ahead, pop both of these through here then. And see, just sticks out. And then when I, what I do is grab one of these bolts and then screw it on lightly. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, so I'm going to go ahead and put the GoPro on. Alright, so it might be a little bit easier to see now. Uh, this GoPro mount thing that I got for my camera. Uh, you know, I got to tilt it down sometimes because the angle is not exactly right. Oh, that has the drill bit on there. I, think I usually just use a screwdriver for stuff like this. I don't need to do it too hard. I like to uh, prop this up over here like that. You can see I did that with the other two. I already said that. Another problem with this thing, I need to get those wheels working good because uh, my friend gave it to me. The wheels are like super wobbly and I tried to bang them into place. Like I tried to bang them back on the bearing in the middle of the thing there. You can see it. I kind of did it. I mean, they're a little bit more 
straight than they were, but you know, I'm definitely gonna have to fix that. They're just kind of held on by these pins. I might try to replace that as well. It looks, you know, a little rusty. So definitely have a lot of work to do with how it looks. It's kind of like a crusty yellow color. It's rusted a lot over here. I was thinking if I don't end up making this into a trailer, I can use it as like a downhill go-kart thing. I thought that would also be a nice project for this channel. Once I get this, I think I'm about there. I can feel it getting a little tighter and it's probably good. So let's get this thing down off. See, it's kind of crooked. I mean, I tried. It's not like supposed to be the best thing in the world. So yeah, let's get into whatever step I'm gonna do next. All right, so we're pretty close to being done. I just have to find a way to attach the front of this trailer to the back of this bike. Now, what I was thinking about doing was getting a bike fork, which is basically this uh, piece that splits into two and it holds the front wheel. Putting the uh, split parts like there and then having the single part come out. And my uncle has a welder, so I can take this up to his warehouse and we could uh, weld that on like that I don't know maybe something a little more simple that can pivot easier like a you know chain something like that I don't know yeah so basically what we have to do is just find a way to attach them so I'm gonna try and do that so we got our thing here uh let's drill a bit what I'm gonna do is just drill right into there I'm gonna try to center it a little better than the plasma car this time uh Probably gonna use another S hook, do the same thing I did with the plasma car, but on the front of there. Okay, so I did quite a bit of work off camera. We did a bunch of stuff. Uh, put this hook through here, screw it on with a bolt, drill that hole. Uh, put this little clip thing on there, and I have this chain going through a PVC pipe so we don't get caught in the spokes, and that's attached with that to this thing here near the axle. So what I need to do now, so that doesn't scrape the ground while I'm moving, I need to screw this thing into here, into this two by four, and then screw it onto where the front trucks were. So let's get to that. Okay, so if you can't tell, this is a voiceover. Uh, there was a lot of loud stuff happening in the garage, so I just decided to get the footage and then do a voiceover. So uh, here I am, screwing these things in. Uh, my plan was to just put this on the bottom of the deck so that the thing wouldn't scrape the ground when I was moving because uh, originally I planned to just have it hold on with chains and uh, yeah, there we go, that's good. So here I'm uh, screwing it into the deck, you can see. Uh, I didn't really know if I had it exactly straight, but I kind of just guessed, you know. It's not really supposed to be a perfect architectural piece of art, so. Yeah, I kind of just went ahead and screwed those in. Hopefully, I didn't mess it up. But, uh, yeah. And we're good. Alright, so this is a test video. Once again, I'm doing a voiceover. So, uh, sorry I couldn't really get a better angle. I kind of just had the GoPro on my head, and occasionally I'd look back at the cart. So as you can see, this uh, thing here is kind of rickety. Uh, slows you down just a bit. Maybe the pipe scrapes on the tire sometimes. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time.